Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel, and welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds Rebuild here on MLB The Show 22. We start our first off-season of the franchise, of the rebuild, in this episode. As you can see by the screen in front of you, the World Series was Yankees and Brewers. They went seven games, and in Game 7, the Milwaukee Brewers were able to win the World Series. You don't usually see the Brewers in year one of an MLB The Show Sim win the World Series or even make the World Series, and yet you always see the Yankees make it, but you never see the Brewers, and they ended up winning the World Series, so good for the Brewers. Good for the Brewers, but we've got a lot of things to take care of in this episode. We've got to figure out what we want to do with some of our contracts. We got to figure out who we're going to sign in free agency because we've got some some money to spend. We made a lot of moves at the deadline a couple episodes ago to free up a lot of money. We we traded Mike Moustakis, we traded Mike Miner, we traded Luis Castillo, we traded Tyler Naquin, we traded Brandon Drury, a lot of guys that were on some pretty hefty contracts that we got out of there. So we've got about 60, 50, 60 something million dollars to spend in free agency. We got plenty of cap space, so that's not a worry. But we gotta figure out what fits this team, what we need. As far as the lineup goes, I really enjoyed Tyler Stevenson. He was our only all-star hitter. I really enjoyed Nick Senzel, actually. I enjoyed Jonathan India. We're going to keep Votto around because he's Joey Votto, and this is the Cincinnati Reds. But all the other positions are basically up for grabs. Left field, we need to find a better replacement. I'm not happy with what it's looking like now. Austin Hendricks. Uh, I do like Austin Hendricks, but I'd probably rather... I'd like him more as a as a a depth guy so we need to find something for for right field third base i do like kyle farmer but i would prefer a higher overall third baseman shortstop is going to be pretty solid with noel v Marte. we are going to have a third baseman in la de la cruz who's going to make the team next season i've already pretty much guaranteed that but is he good enough to be the starter at third base probably maybe we have him play first base and then have joey Votto be the dh that's also a possibility because maybe Votto at a 66 overall is really just needed as a, as a hitter right now. I don't know. Kyle Farmer can play second base and third base. So along with his shortstop position. So I mean there's a bunch of different positions we can do. We got some flexibility. And depending on what we do in the, the offseason here in this episode too. But our pitchers, we've got Hunter Green. we got Nick Lodolo. We need to develop these two guys. These two guys are our, our base, our, our two studs. And then we got to figure out what we want to do with Ashcraft. Do we want to keep him around? He kind of sucked last season. Overton was good for what he was. He wasn't amazing or anything. And then Brandon Williamson wasn't amazing. But these two guys didn't really get a whole lot of playtime. So let's advance the day. Let's start the offseason. If you want to see any of the stats or any of the offseason stats or anything like that, you can go and check the last episode. We did all that at the end of it. So let's see retirements. Anybody of note retiring this season? Martin Maldonado, retire, Maldonado, excuse me, retires. Kurt Suzuki retires. Jed Lowry, Sergio Romo, Nick Vincent is gone. Jose Quintana, Adam Wainwright, Mark Melanson, Daniel Bard. Some big names retire in here. Those are all the people that were actually on teams. Okay. Very interesting. Is Adam Wainwright, I was going to say, is Adam Wainwright a Hall of Famer? It doesn't look like it, at least in the show, they don't think he's a Hall of Famer. And now we get to exclusive free agent negotiations. And I don't think, although I did, I did okay with Justin Wilson, but I don't think any of these guys are really worth coming back. I think we can let all those guys walk. Review the staff. We need a first base coach. Do we fire David Bell? That's a big question. We probably should fire Alan Zinter too. Let's just fire him right off the bat. He's not bringing anything good to the team. But the hitting coaches, let's see. Is there anybody that's given us pluses in everything? That's what I would prefer. Ricky Chavez. Okay, we can we can sign Ricky Chavez. I wouldn't hate that. And then we need a first base coach as well. So who's giving me... Ooh, Dale Perkins. I'll go take Dale Perkins. But do, there's Mark Pryor. Do we hire a new head coach? Do we try to go for Joe Madden? Do we believe David Bell is the guy? I personally don't think that he's the guy. We should also try and fire our farm director. Did we already hire Chet Bennett? Is he one that we're, that we're offering? No, it's Ricky Chavez. So 
let's go back to the farm directors. I liked Chet Bennett. Where'd Chet Bennett go? There he is. Let's hire him as our new farm director. I think we fire... I think we completely, not completely clean house, but I think we clean house with David Bell and we hire Joe Madden. Or at least we make a run at him. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If he accepts, he accepts. We could always go back and get Joe Madden again, I guess. Let's simulate a couple days. Chet Bennett has decided that he's no longer interested in be the farm director. Joe Madden has accepted the Reds offer, so we have a new manager. Joe Madden will be our new manager for three seasons. But we need a new farm director now because Chet Bennett didn't want to be it. He wants to be a manager. The Guardians are offering him a manager job. All right, Chet. I can't deny you that. If you want to be a manager, go be a manager, man. We'll go for Nick Perry, I guess. We'll see what else we can get. Ricky Chavez is the new hitting coach. That's good to see. We're still waiting on... Ooh, Dale Perkins. We're going to have to bump up the offer if we want him to be our third base coach. Let's just bump it up to $5 million. We'll see if that... Yeah, that. oh, he likes that a lot. He likes that a lot. And now we get to qualifying offers. Did we get anybody? Nope, we're still looking for those two guys. We're still in the lead on them. They're both pretty young too, so that's good. Let's get to actual free agency. Dale Perkins has accepted the Phillies offer. All right, very interesting. I didn't think he was going to accept the Philly offer, but he did. So we are still waiting on submitted offers. Nick Perry is now being targeted by the Guardians. The Guardians are just taking everything that I'm looking for here. So now we need a, was it third base coach? Is that what we needed? No, it was a first base coach. All right, we need to go for a first base coach. Royce Williams. He doesn't seem like he could hurt us that much. He's got all pluses, so that's a, a positive thing. But let's take a look at free agency. That is, uh, we can also, I also got to tender some contracts, but I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Free agency is here. Aaron judge, Tim Anderson. I mean, we know the, the class, we know the class in the first season. What do we need? Cause I don't really want to spend a ton of money. If the, if the thing isn't right, we could bring back Tyler Naquin. I don't really want to just throw money away on players if they don't if i don't feel like they're gonna fit with what we're building here in cincinnati so i don't want to we could try and bring back tucker barnhart but i don't want to just just throw money at players because they're good i mean i want to because we also if we go for one of these guys we'd have to also give away a draft pick and i don't really want to do that so we got to think about that too josh bell wouldn't be wouldn't be bad he can play outfield plus he can play first base okay or he can be our DH. That's also a, a possibility. Shortstop, we don't really need to look at shortstop. We have enough shortstops. Outfield is definitely something we need to take a look at. Joey Gallo is a little bit probably not what I'm looking for. Is Joey Gallo what I'm looking for? Hmm. Let's take a look at starting pitchers first because I would like to bring in at least one starting pitcher. I certainly would like to do that just to have somebody else that we can rely on in the starting rotation. And maybe that guy is, is it Martin Perez? 31 years old. He's regressing though. Sonny Gray, bring him back to Cincinnati. I don't really like that. Joe Musgrove. He's 30 though. Kershaw. No Severino. No Aaron Nola. We can't compete with those, those kind of contracts. I don't really want Tyler Anderson or Noah. I don't really want Noah Syndergaard either. I don't really know what I want. I just want another starting pitcher that I can that I can rely on. Is it Jamison Tyon? Is that he's 31 already? That's crazy. Sonny Gray's 33. I think the best option is Musgrove. But the Padres are made him a qualifying offer of 101.5. That's crazy. I don't really want Mike Clevenger. Michael Lorenzen's cool, but I mean, is he really the, the guy? Chris Bassett, 34 years old. This is tough. I'm not really seeing stuff that I like. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that I really, really want. 
out here. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Chris Bassett is interesting, but he is 34. He's from Ohio, so that's kind of cool. He went 5-2 and two last year with a 4-1-1 ERA. Is Chris Bassett really what we go for? Hmm. Now, nah, four-year contract is a little bit too much. I can do maybe a three-year contract for $30 million, I guess. Who knows if I'll keep him around. The bullpen, I don't really want to offer any of these guys, I don't think. Closing pitchers, the only guy that I would care about is, is our oldest Chapman, I guess. He's been in New York for that long. That's wild. He was in Chicago for the one season they won the World Series, and then he's been in New York ever since. That's crazy. Hmm, I guess I just didn't realize he was that gone that long. But he's pretty old now at 35. I kind of want to bring him back. Kind of want to bring him back. Two-year, $8 million deal wouldn't kill us. Catcher... I'm pretty fine with catcher because we have Tyler Stevenson, so that's not a, a big need. But we could use we could always use a backup. Is there's nobody good down there in the bottom. And I don't really want to bring back Austin Romine. Five year contract for Tucker Barnhart, are you out of your mind? A one year deal for Tucker Barnhart, I don't hate as a backup. I'm very intrigued by Josh Bell. I'm very intrigued by Josh Bell. Third base. I think we're good with third base. Shortstop, we're fine with. Left field, I'm very intrigued by Joey Gallo, too. Josh Bell and Joey Gallo are, are two things that I'm very, very intrigued by. Center field, we can't afford Aaron Judge. We certainly cannot afford Aaron Judge. And then right field... I, I enjoyed, I really did enjoy Tyler Naquin. I didn't mean to back out of that. I really did enjoy Tyler Naquin when we had him on the team. So maybe I can bring Tyler back. But probably not for as much money as he would like. So I did like that. So let's see if we can get him back because I enjoyed having him on the team. Now the last piece of business is Josh Bell. And if we could get Josh Bell on a two-year team-friendly contract we'll pay him 15 million dollars a year we'll see what that is so our our offers are to josh bell chris bassett joey gallo tucker barnhart tyler naquin and araldis chap we'll see what we can do here i don't i think that's that's good enough we're not spending all of our money but we are i think helping the team in the long run I've also got to do salary arbitration for some guys. I did enjoy pitching with Jeff Hoffman, so I think I'll bring him back. Cutter Coffee, I'll probably bring back. I'll bring back a couple of those guys, and I'll do the tender contract. So I'm going to go do all this, bring back all these guys, or at least offer them contracts and all that stuff, and then I will see you guys after I get that done. Okay, so I tendered the contracts that I wanted to. I offered the salary arbitration to those guys that I wanted to. Now we can go a couple days into free agency. We pick up Josh Bell on a two-year $30 million deal. That's big. That is pretty, pretty big. Everybody else. Did we get everybody else? Well, where did everybody else go? We have Chapman and Bassett still over here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we sign it. We got Joey Gallo. It didn't tell us, but we got Joey Gallo. We got Tucker Barnard. We got Tyler Naquin. It looks like we got everybody that I offered, except for those last two guys that we saw. So that's good. The White Sox are interested in offering me a trade. Aaron Bummer. Okay, Aaron Bummer's a really good pitcher. 29 years old. 78 overall. Still got two years left on his contract for center fielder Alan Serta. Interesting. And then second baseman Leonardo Rivas. Okay. I'm intrigued by this. I wouldn't hate having Aaron Bummer on the team. You know what? I think I'm going to do this deal. I think we have the depth of those positions. Having Aaron Bummer adds some things. That's for sure. I like that. I like having Aaron Bummer on the team now. 
We have just Chris Bassett left, so it, it looks like the other guy signed. There's Araldus Chapman. Araldus Chapman back in Cincinnati. That's crazy to see. Glad we got Joey Gallo, too. That's going to bring some more power. Josh Bell's going to bring power. Joey Gallo hopefully will bring power. We're getting these guys back that we offered those contracts to. Salary arbitration, we're still fighting on those guys. Uh, Royce Williams has accepted the first base job. Is that everybody? Did we get our farm director? We still we don't have a farm director still. We're still waiting on Nick Perry to decide if he wants to be the farm director or not. Okay. And Nick Perry, of course. Nick Perry has accepted the Guardian's offer. So now we are out a farm director still. We need to find somebody and find somebody quick. It could be Lee Coogan or Derek Jacquez. I kind of like Lee Coogan because he got a funny name. Coogan. All right, we'll see if we can get him. Hopefully we can. Simulate some more days in free agency. And Chris Bassett still hasn't decided if he wants to be a part of the Cincinnati organization. Coogan accepts the contract. The 40-man rosters are about to be set, so we have to figure out our 40-man roster. All right, we have 30 players on the team. So we have 34 on the 40-man roster. Okay, I don't really care about Adrian Hernandez being on the 40-man roster, so we can send him down. Um, I don't care if Robert Duggar is on the 40 man or not. He can get taken and if he doesn't get taken in the thing, it's not a huge deal. Uh, Matthew Nelson. I kind of don't care if Matthew Nelson is in the 40 man or not. Uh, let's see. TJ Friedel. I don't really care if he's there. All right. That gets us down to, what is that? 29 plus 12. Why am I bad at math? Is that 41? Or is that 42? Hold on. Okay, so we still need to bring some more guys down. And that's probably going to be... If we go to the left field position, we're going to have Gallo up. But we don't necessarily need Fraley up anymore. So Fraley can go back down to AAA. And Fraley can probably get moved off of the 40-man roster too. All right, 28 and 12... That's a lot of shortstops on the big league club. I don't think we need all those shortstops on the big league roster. Um, probably just... Probably just Farmer and Marte. And De La Cruz is going to be up there. Trevino is going to be in double A. Because he's the... Is he the new draft pick? He's one of the draft picks, I think, right? Where's our... Where's our guy at? Where's... What's the dude's name? Oh, there he is. Vladimir Herrera. I passed right by him. He's going to be in. He's already in double A. He's the second highest rated first baseman on the team now. We got Josh Bell. We've got uh, Joey Votto in whatchamacallit, the major leagues. The catchers are looking like there's Ray Valencia. He's going to start in double A. Our double A team is going to be pretty good. I might just make Araldus Chapman a relief pitcher. I don't really know yet. All right, so the 40-man roster I think is set, right? Is there anybody here that's not on the 40-man that I want to keep? They wouldn't take my young guys, would they? Like my picks, my draft picks? I don't think they would. I'm going to put Jose Barreo on the 40-man roster just to... Oh, it's full. Okay. I'm going to believe that they won't take my guys. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to trust in it. I'm going to trust in the fact that they won't take my boys. I probably we have 26 of 28 people on the roster. Let's do it. Let's move on. Keep going. Uh Robert Duggar gets claimed off of waivers. Jake Fraley got claimed off of waivers. All right, I'm not upset about that. Both those guys are out. Jazz Chisholm got traded to the Blue Jays from the Marlins for two young prospects, a pitcher and a second baseman. Very interesting because I noticed when I was simulating or when I was going to check the roster that Jazz Chisholm signed his um, arbitration thing or whatever it was back with the Marlins. So they just signed him to trade him. Very interesting. Andrew Benintendi signs a four-year, $40 million deal with the, with the uh, Dodgers. Chris Sale is on the move from the Red Sox to the Royals. For MJ Melendez and a young starting pitcher. Jock Peterson back to the Dodgers. Five years, $45 million. 
very intriguing deals. Max Muncy heads to the San Francisco Giants, a rival of the Dodgers. Wow. Wild scenes. Absolutely wild scenes. We're going to keep it moving. We are going to keep it moving here as we get to the winter meetings. Get past that. The, the Rule 5 draft. We have the third pick in the Rule 5 draft. I don't think there's going to be anybody here that we need. Because remember, if we draft anybody here, they have to stay on our team the entire season. Joey Lucchese, I don't think, is going to be one. No, nobody here. Nobody in closing pitchers. No catchers. No first baseman. No second baseman. Or third baseman. Or shortstops. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be taking anybody. Charlie Blackman is in here. Ooh, Gerard Encarnacion, or Ger Gerard, I don't know how to pronounce your name. That's intriguing. Ooh, there's TJ Friedel, by the way. Uh, Ooh, he's the only one that I would be very interested in. Mm, I think we got to draft Encarnacion. I don't hate having him on the roster, by the way. I think that's it. I think that's everybody that we need. We don't need anybody else on the team. That was, I couldn't pass that up. We had to take Encarnacion. Exit the Rule 5 draft. Keep going. Tyler Anderson signs with the Padres. Aaron Nola signs a 10-year, $350 million deal with the Giants. James, that's a massive contract. Jamison Tyon, five years, $60 million with the Rays. There's no way that that, that that Aaron Nola deal will ever blow back in the, the Giants' face. There's absolutely no way it'll go wrong that big of a contract did we sign bassett we did sign chris bassett all right so we got everybody that i asked for ryan presley goes to the royals from the astros so the royals making some big moves they made two trades here in the offseason edwin diaz signs a six-year 87 million dollar deal with the orioles the money is flowing here in free agency as we enter january and we get through january tim anderson signs a nine-year 208 million dollar deal with the angels to pair up with Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. Yeah, that's that's good to give a guaranteed $208 million deal over nine years to a very injury-prone shortstop. I mean, he's good when he's when he's healthy, but he's very injury-prone. <laughs> Dansby Swanson agrees to a five-year $94 million deal with the A's. It's weird to see him in A's jersey. J.D. Martinez gets a one-year $8 million deal with the Giants. We win the arbitration deal with Albert Amora Jr., so we're paying him 1.25. And we win the Cutter Coffee arbitration deal, so we're paying him 800 grand. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Free agency is about done. And we are ready to go to the offseason, to spring training. Awesome. Very, very cool. I am excited about what we did here. We spent some money, but we didn't spend a lot of money. We still have a ton of free space. I mean, look at like, I feel like we added where we needed to and we didn't go overboard. Like none of these contracts are crazy. Maybe the Chris Bassett deal is a little crazy because we're paying him 30 million over three years. So maybe that's a little crazy. Maybe that'll bite us in the butt. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But we brought in Aaron Bummer, who's not making anything. Like, I feel like we definitely got better this season. I feel like we definitely, definitely got better. And we can add we can add Chris Bassett into the starting rotation. So he becomes the number two guy with Hunter Green and Lodolo. I'm going to keep Graham Ashcraft out of there for right now. He's certainly not going to be... Uh, in the starting rotation. I think I'll have Overton and I'll have Brandon Williamson as the starters. But I th look at this bullpen now. We're going to have Chapman up. We're going to have... Ooh, do, they, do I want to keep Justin Dunn up here? Probably not. I'll probably move him down to AAA. But we're going to have Chapman up here. We'll have Ashcraft as a long relief guy. We'll have Sessa. We'll have Santillian, Bummer, Antoine, or Anton, probably. Maybe he'll move down. Lucas Sims and Alexis Diaz. I'd say that's a pretty good bullpen. And then if we go to the lineup and we make Joey Gallo the left fielder and probably, do we want Joey Votto to play the field? Do we, uh, yeah, I'll keep Votto as the, the guy in the field. Josh Bell can be the DH. 
then we can have uh, who else do I want on this team? Ellie De La Cruz will start at third base. Right field will probably be Tyler Naquin again this season. Shortstop Noel V. Marte. Senzel be center field. Look at this team. This team, I feel like, is better. Now, disregard the 66 overall for Joey Votto. But other than that, I feel like this team is really, really good. And then off the bench, we got Kyle Farmer, Tucker Barnhart, Encarnacion, because he has to stay up here because we picked him in the Rule 5 draft. Hendrick, Aquino will be down in AAA. Torres will be down in AAA. Keyboom will probably be down in AAA. Jay Allen might make the team. A lot of these guys will be down in AAA. Most of these guys will be down in AAA. But like Albert Amaro Jr. will keep up here. We've got a good bench. I like this team. I do. I really do. I think we've got a good shot to be something this season. Now, I don't, I'm not going to get it crazy. I'm not going to say that we are going to make the playoffs or even like be in contention for the playoffs. But I think we got some possibilities here. We got certainly some, some good options. So I'm going to go and end the video here. Next episode, I may throw in at the beginning. I may do like a little spring training recap where I talk over some clips and talk about some of my thoughts headed into the season. Maybe I show you some clips of some spring training highlights or something. And then we move into opening day of 2023 of the second season. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the signings, if you agreed with the signings that I made, if you agreed with the, the guys that I let go. Let me know. I, I Let me know if you think that this team is going to be better. Now, the pitcher rotation still obviously needs some work. I would like to not have Connor Overton and Brandon Williamson as four and five. I still think that they need time to develop. But as of right now, I think they're fine. The first three I like, one, two, and three I definitely like. And I think Hunter Green's going to have a bounce back year. I think Lodolo's going to have a bounce back year. They really just struggled because we didn't have the hitting to back them up and to give them some help. So, I mean, that was just a little bit of a struggle. But I think we're going to be a lot better this year. I think the lineup is going to be better. We've added some more power with Joey Gallo and Josh Bell. We added some youth with bringing up L.A. De La Cruz and still having Noel V. Marte. And, I mean, we've still got Jonathan India. I mean, we've got a nice balanced team. And we got some decent pitchers now. I think we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. And we only won like 70 games last year. So I think we're going to be better than what we were last year. But that's all for the future to find out how we actually are going to do. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to go check out either my main channel or my second channel. Yes, I have two other channels that I do. The links are down below in the description. The World of Juice channel is my main channel. It has Madden content mostly. But it has a little something for everybody. So you can go check that out. Or my second channel, the World of Juice, cha World, the World of Juice Hoops channel. That is strictly all 2K content, NBA 2K and basketball related content. So if you wanna go check out either of those channels, links are down below in the description if you're feeling frisky, or if you just wanna continue watching some more MLB The Show content, catching up on some stuff you may have missed, stay here on the channel, feel free. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.